So God of War Ragnarok is here and everyone is desperately searching for that infamous generation gap which the God of War was famous about. But as you have already witnessed, there's no such big graphical improvement in God of War Ragnarok. But here we are still comparing these two games with all our might to find any difference. Well, of course there are many improvements in Ragnarok and but surprisingly there are some changes which is not that great in my opinion and God of War 2018 did better and we'll find these changes later in this video. And yeah now let's start. For this comparison we will take PS4 version of God of War and we will look into detailed graphics objects like Raiders, Atreus, Fire on the Blade of Chaos by explosions and whatnot and etc. So let's start with Raiders himself. On the left side we have God of War 2018 and on the right side we have the latest God of War Ragnarok. As you can clearly see the difference in the overall textures, Ragnarok Raiders feels more realistic but how? Let's analyze. Let's start with hair work. Compared to 2018, Ragnarok Raiders have more realistic and thin hairs, more dense and definitely its fix are more realistic how the hair moves and etc. Not just the hair, we can also see redness around nose which feels like Raiders is living and breathing. And if we talk about breathing, I don't know but in Ragnarok there's no vapors coming out of Raiders nose. But in 2018 it does. You might say it is because they might be standing in different conditions. Well, no. In Ragnarok there's Wimble Winter and if you look closely, you can actually see vapors coming out from his nose. But it's so thin that you hardly notice it. But for me, it's an improvement. Now if we look at Atreus, now in both games Atreus looks Evitating. And definitely, there are some graphical improvements like better hair work, clothing, textures, etc. But am I the only one noticing that the address in Ragnarok is more calm than the address in 2018? Well, that's because he's getting matured by time. Next up, we have the Blades of Chaos. Well, in this scene, we can see how the flames are surrounding the chains in 2018. But in Ragnarok, we can see how the flames are inside the chain. And it burns bright and does not emit a lot of flames like it was in 2018. In Ragnarok, flames are more vibrant. You can say more realistic if you look closely and after it explodes the explosion causes small smoke in god of war ragnarok but does not in 2018 also you can see the sparks after explosion looks more decent in ragnarok though the animation in both games are just copy paste next up we have lava if you look at the lava you can clearly see how ragnarok is improved in ragnarok there are smoke coming out of lava plus it's burning its surrounding so we can see the lava and the fire both together but in 2018 there's just one repeating animation lava in ragnarok also creates bubble which is yet again missing in 2018 and yeah, now let us take at some not improved stuff like wet areas, trees, depth of field, boat animations and water effects, and some other things. Next, we have snow. I don't know, but in Ragnarok, snow look more photorealistic. Maybe it's because the small pebble effects around the broken snow in Ragnarok, which is clearly missing in 2018. Next up, we have grass. Yet again, Ragnarok proved itself better in this area too. We can clearly see how unrealistic small grass looks in 2018, but in Ragnarok, it looks really perfect. You can also see how some grass are flat, which shows someone has walked on it before. Well, that's really amazing. Now, let us combine two different points, fire and ice. Both in Ragnarok and 2018, effects look really cool when Kratos smashes his blade on the snow. But in 2018, we can see it leaves black spot or we can say burn mark on the ground due to the explosion. In the matter of fact, that black burn quickly disappears in Ragnarok. However, it still looks decent because it left snow pebble effects in Ragnarok. And yeah, there you have it. This was my analysis and comparison of God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok and 2018. I hope you liked it and tell me in the comment section which game do you think is better if you already played it. And yeah now, thanks for watching.